Hello, welcome to the module number 40, currently available tools for wikis. My name is Afariya Bhader, I am assistant professor in Zakir Hussain College of Engineering and Technology, Aligarh Muslim University. In this module, I will be telling you about the tools out of many available as discussed in the previous module. One is online and freemium, while the other one could be set up even on a local server and used within the organization. First, let's understand about PBWorks, the online and freemium option that is widely used. PBWorks, formerly known as PBWiki, is a commercial real-time collaborative editing system created by David Weekly with Ramit Sethi and Nandan Skrim, who joined shortly thereafter as co-founders. The company operates on a freemium basis, offering basic features for free and more advanced features for a fee. Many educational groups and educators are using PBWorks, including the National Opinion Research Center at the University of Chicago, the University of Toronto, etc. Please refer the video to learn how to set up the account and work on it. So PBWorks is an online team collaboration website and for this uh, you can go to the uh, get it started and you can select wiki hub uh, in order to create a wiki you will have to give an organization name and that has to be a unique organization name that will be appended in this region as you can see if i can write a random name it is appended then you have to provide your email id and the, you have to create a password and then you can move on to the other page for the creation of uh, your account since i have an account so i'll be directly logging into the uh, my pbworks login here yeah, you can add a wiki, you can invite people who can contribute to the project, you can create uh, pages within a wiki and upload files directly. But I have got some uh, wikis already uh, existent here. If I want to create a wiki, I can simply click on this plus sign and I can say that uh, a title, I want it as the tutorial. Uh, the collection is wikis, description, uh, it is a wiki tutorial and uh, if i want to give it a logo i can choose a logo from here as well suppose i'm choosing a logo so create a wiki this is the front page uh, let's get familiarized with the front page this is the uh, edit option if you click on this you will be able to edit the things that are mentioned over here for example in this page they have not mentioned anything they have just included the uh, sample content you can simply delete it and you can write over here so this message could be uh, saved and once you save it, it will be uh, visible like this. Another thing is, uh, there is this is your front page, then there, these are the files, the front page and the sample content file that was there. Uh, and whatever pages you create will be listed down in this section. If you are uploading any image, and then that too will be uh, listed down in this area it's uh, these are the sections where you can add tasks with the help of this button with the help of this section you can distribute the assignments among the students if you see uh, the content you'll see the title of the task and you can assign to the people uh, that you add uh, who can access this wiki and then you have to decide a date by what date they have submitted they can you can share a link if and uh, then there is a tab of members members means see this is i uh, i have created this account and i can add members also i can simply click on members i can write it down over here that i want to have another member he what under what category i want to him to be a moderator means he has equal rights as me or he's simply an editor or he is a writer or a reader or item level only that I want specific items to be visible on onto him and nothing else so mostly I want uh, editorial uh, role for uh, this account so and I can type in the mess so our member has been added with the editorial role activities will track down the activities done by various users since i am editing the front page right now so it is uh, mentioning that uh, the Pariyab header is edited the front page uh, settings here you can set uh, various things like branding the name that you want to give you can change the logo etc you can select a theme for yourself uh, going back to the front page you will see that now there is a blue theme available for us 
let me just go to the edit button and in edit button first of all i would like to introduce uh, a few images uh, upload a file for uploading a file i'm using my logo again logo.png has got uploaded and if i click on any region over here and in, uh, click on the photograph that photograph will get pasted onto my content page and this could be edited like any word document center aligned uh, right aligned or left aligned whatever you feel like in front of this you can write now uh, you can uh, bold it you can increase the size you can change the uh, font details here over here georgia and you can uh, even center align it uh, wiki tools and in you can make this as the heading it is not in normal text this is an heading and then with this heading you what you want to do is you want to mention a few names now these contents are not heading these are normal content uh, with a reduced size suppose 12 i want i want them uh, bulleted so these are the bullets available uh, so the my page now looks somewhat like this now we'll see uh, to add a few more images and creating the links on the wiki tools that we have mentioned over here because there are no pages with regards to these tools that I've written right now. All right, so for inserting the images, again, I'll go to the images in the file and upload file. Suppose I am inserting a red band. Uh, so this is inserted. I want to insert this red band over here. So this now red band has been inserted. I can resize it to whatever size I feel like. Uh, I can even now uh, uh, attach links to these images. I can simply right click and say add link and for this add link it says uh, tell me the web address uh, where you want me uh, to go. So I can simply write it down over here. Control V that if you, I click on this I should be taken to my university page. If I want to create a link I can simply click on this on a text and See, PB works where named page is not existent, therefore I can create a page by that. So create a new page by the name of PB works. I want to do with the media wiki as well, add link, create a new page by the name of the media wiki, uh, save. Let's see what happens now. So if I click on this image, see it's taking me to the Aligarh Muslim University page. That is fantastic. If I click on PB work, now this is a page within the domain of the uh, PB works and it says that such page is not found. Do you want to create a new page? Yes, I want to create a new page. The name of the page is by default PB works, which you can uh, change as well. I want to create the page plain and simple. The page has been created. Now you want a link back to the front page and you want to add a link over here. So add a link and now this is a link to the front page. I can go to the PB works and like PB work, insert the link, save it. So see, if I click on the front page, I'm going back to the front page. If I click on PB works, I'm coming over to the PB works. So this way I can manage my things. If I go to the activity, you'll see that by my name, whatever changes I've made have been listed down over here. And similarly, the things uh, could be changed by other members also. So I can keep a track of what, or what all the changes a member is doing. So I can basically check who is collaborating and to what extent are they collaborating. And I do have control of all the content that has been created in these pages. I can edit them and I can tell them what are their problems. Uh, similarly, you can uh, create a page for the discussion forum. Add the link and link to discussion forum. Uh, it is again a new page so you can create a new page a uh, discussion forum uh, you can open this page uh, it is a new page and here you can have questions save okay. now see all the pages that you are created are mentioned on the right hand side panel uh, this, this is basically a navigator you can navigate with the different pages you can create content you can come the front page you can see the activities done by other people and this is a wonderful place to have the content distributed like so this way you can create the pages on the uh, pb works thank you for joining in now let's understand how to set up media wiki along with vamp server so that it could also be installed and run on local network media wiki is a free 
and open source wiki software originally developed by Magnus Maske and improved by Lee Daniel Crocker. It runs on many websites including Wikipedia, Wikitionary and Wikimedia Commons. It is written in PHP programming language and it stores the contents into a database. The software is optimized to efficiently handle large projects which can have terabytes of content and hundreds of thousands of hits per second. It has also been deployed by some companies as an internal knowledge management system and educators can assign students to use MediaWiki for collaborative group projects. MediaWiki uses an extensible lightweight wiki markup design to be easier to use and learn than the existing HTML. The idea is to make page creation as simple as possible. MediaWiki can be easily installed. It can be used over an intranet of the organization or the institute. All you need to do is set it up on a server within the organization or institute and start collaborating through a computer on the local organizational network. I'll show you how to set it up in the following video. Okay, so in this video, I'll be telling about how to install the MediaWiki and create your own pages for the collaborative projects that you want to initiate as the education users of the wiki. And uh, I will also be telling you about the VAMP server and why to use it because I said that MediaWiki is one such platform which could be installed on a server in your organization and it could be used uh, to access the pages uh, with the help of other clients. So since I do not have a server admin description, so I'll be uh, installing the VAMP server uh, software stack onto my machine and uh, which uses Apache Web Server, uh, PHP programming language and MySQL databases. Uh, and I'll be using this uh, software to convert. Uh, so to begin with, we will go to the MediaWiki page and click on download. And uh, I will download the stable version of the MediaWiki 131.1 and it's getting downloaded right here and from BAMP server I will be downloading the BAMP server. I will show you the downloads that I have already done. So here is my uh, MediaWiki and BAMP server uh, currently now available uh, as the setup. So I will just run my BAMP server and uh, it will be setting up uh, directly X. Install so the installation has already started, and meanwhile, I will just uh, un decompress my uh, MediaWiki extracts here. So, I'll simply extract it to this very folder, and a new folder will be created by the name of the MediaWiki. Alright, so both my MediaWiki and uh, VAM server have got uh, uh, downloaded and installed as well. Uh, now I will show you that uh, I am running the VAM server. This is my VAM server and I have to start all services. That's all I have to do over here. Another thing I will do is whatever files I have extracted of the MediaWiki, I will just uh, uh, copy this folder completely and I will go to the C uh, WAMP64 folder and www folder because this is a folder where you keep your website content that you have created and Wiki will be uh, opting, uh, working as a website so I'll go over here and I'll simply paste it alright so the uh, copy is compiled I'll simply go to the Chrome page and I'll write localhost and it should show me my project that is MediaWiki that I had created. One more thing that I would like to do over here is I would like to rename this page to a simpler name and I'm just renaming it as Wiki. Below this page you'll see the project is being used to Wiki. Now I will be giving my complete path to open a project. It says for the completion of the installation page it says is that the language that I want to use for my wiki pages and the language that I want to use is English, it is already set. Now this tells me the path, local load and how to access it and various other information. Just have a quick look at it and continue. The database that I will be using is MySQL. The name is localhost to my wiki database and any table prefix that I want, I want to use Tude because it is my tutorial lecture. 
So uh, the name of my uh, database username is root and I'm not using any password as of now. I'll just continue from here. <coughs> It asks me to regenerate my local settings because I have already done this thing once so I am just regenerating my local settings and uh, it says with, uh, what should be my storage engine it is in ODB just continue you don't have to do anything uh, name of the wiki I want to keep, uh, keep it as wiki dude I want a username um, Hadi uh, that I have already created now it asks me four questions that is what do I want I, do I want an open wiki Open wiki means that anybody could come and edit my page. Account creation required means anybody who has an account on the media wiki can come and edit my page. <coughs> Authorized editors, sorry. Authorized editors means that only those people who can, who are authorized by me can edit my page, but my page is visible and my history is also visible to everybody. And last is your private wiki. Private wiki is not publicly available to view. It can be viewed and edited only by the authorized user. So I want an open wiki because I want everybody to collaborate on my project. And the copyright and license, I'm not using any license footer. Special pages if required. Yeah, I would like to have the maximum facility. I want to have an editor to edit everything. I want a uh, category tree, a site map, an image map, uh, and parser functions. I want to have PDF handler. Uh, for spam prevention, I should have all the options. I am taking all the options. I want uh, to enable the feature of file uploads as well. So, and anything that I delete from will be stored in this particular path on my system. You'll see that this particular path which is at the resources, assets, and wiki.png is my default uh, logo of this page. I can change the logo as well, that we'll see at the end. Continue. So it has uh, downloaded a PHP file for me by the name of the local settings. I can only enter my wiki once I have played this file in the proper location. So I'll go to the folder, I'll go to the downloads, copy local settings go to my project again that is in ram 64 www wiki and i'll simply copy it over here control v so local settings <coughs> once this has been done i'll click on enter your wiki now this would take me to my home page home page would look somewhat like this <coughs> it has a discussion table it has got an edit button and a history button as well and see since it is my open wiki even if I am logged in I have an option of editing the pages as well so if I go to the edit you see the code written for the content over there is this much only if I want to add certain things I can say okay hi welcome to my first wiki page show preview so this is the preview that has been generated and this is my changes that I have made if I am convinced with my preview I can simply say save the changes <coughs> I have saved the changes and this is what it looks like now if I go to the edit the other options that are available with me is I want to highlight my welcome I can use a bold I want to you know bold and italicize my first wiki page first wiki so I can select this content I'll like bold and then again I'll do select this content I'll italicize it as well so now if I go and save the changes I'll see the welcome is bold my first first wiki is bold in italics so the use is quite simple if you go to the advanced option, you'll see the bulleting and the numbering also. You'll see an enter that is the line break at the end. If you are seeing it's a line break, if now whatever you're writing, line two. That will be actually your another line. See, this is your line two. Right? Now, what if you want to create a new page? So I'm searching for a page like by the name of 
for wiki tools. It searched and it found no page, so it said, do you want to create a page? Red link means the page is not existent and you can create a page by this name. So I'm clicking on this. So it has uh, led me to the editor. There are some special characters if you want to include them, like J and uh, okay so i have done uh, editing my uh, special characters now what i want is i want to introduce and uh, there are many tools available like pb work wiki dots media wiki safety pages so this PC it, it is all coming in one line I don't want to be uh, it to be in one line so after this I'll be uh, introducing a page brick br just like an HTML and I want all these things to be you know bulleted so now they are the bullets now one of safe changes and it looks somewhat like this now this looks better now what I'll do is I would like to create the content page as well and just not this these things. So what I'll do is I'll go to the edit option and I'll simply write down <coughs> tools and see what it will do. It will create a heading with the wiki tools. Now I want to have subheadings as well. After writing this, if I write P P works, it will be my subheading. If I use three equal signs, it will be my sub subheading. <coughs> See? Now I can further edit it. And after everything I want to have a line. So I will just mention four hyphens and it will draw a line for me as well see a line has been created a line has been created and uh -huh. there you want, want to edit a particular section I can simply click on edit and now it opens to the PB work section only here are the details of PB works now if you don't want to uh, uh, just write down the details but want to provide a link to pbworks you know the, that the page of pbworks does not exist and you want to create it again you can go to the edit section and simply you can surround this content by uh, double square brackets <coughs> and an automatic link is will be created to the pbworks it is a red link because this page is not existing so I just click and see a new page by the name of the PBWorks is created and here I can write to add a reference to my first page and that is my wiki tools. I think it was tool. See wiki tool. I can do one more thing. <coughs> And if I click over here, I'm going back to the wiki tools, the tool page. Okay. If I want to create a link for uh, media wiki, I can simply go over here. Here, and see, a page for media wiki is also created. Here are the details of media wiki. And one great thing that I can do now is not only just I can create a, a link to a wiki tool, rather I can mention the category as well. Category tool.
or any name that I want what will it do I'll just show you in a bit you'll see that a category tool has been created right and you have a link to wiki tool I'm going back to the wiki tool I'm going to the preview works and I'm creating uh, a category of here as well and I'm writing category tool safety changes now if we click on tool then it will be creating a you know category page where all the tools have been mentioned like indexed if they go to the main page and I go to the edit section I can add on that I want to mention all the mm, categories also category tool so a link to the category page will be created here itself category tool if you click on this page it will go to the category page and all the tools are mentioned over here the media wiki and pb works the tool that i had created if i go click on pb works i go to the pb works page and i can look at the content over here so that and now if i want to insert an image i have this option i click on this option i say uh, logo i give it a caption as logo um media wiki and I want to it at the right hand side and I want to upload a pic okay pictures okay so I'm uploading this and that photograph this is my own work uploading seminar save and save right save changes and see a photo has been included if you want to align it to the center it's quite simple you go instead of writing right right center and the photo will be at the center how simple this is if you want to add the logo then for adding the logo here at this place what you need to do is if you remember the part that i told you that path is mentioned in your local settings if you open the local settings you'll realize <coughs> search for logo so here it is logo and the path is at the resource assets and wiki.png let's go to this path so let's go to this path we'll go to the resources assets and this is file i'll go to this and i'll just change the name from wiki to logo and i'll save this file i'll close it i'll go to my local host slash wiki and see yeah it's a bit uh, oversized you can adjust it later on so the logo could be looked at like this there are several other things that you could do. One is uh, the review of the pages. So if I uh, go to my uh, page, and that is uh, Media Wiki, uh, and the history, and you will notice that the two changes have been made, and both the changes can be undoed. So anybody could undo the change. If I uh, make one more change, a change and i give it a name in the summary description and i save it look at the history so harry has made a change in the description and if you want to undo it simply undo it it will compare the two changes have been made it was a blank earlier and now it's a change it will be de deleted if you want to accept it you can simply save the changes so it will be undo of the revision so that way you can easily control the history discussion page is one such page where you can create any discussion forum uh, if you can simply add a page and the other person could come to that discussion you can ask a question over here i want to add a topic i want to have a discussion on the tools my topics is wiki tools my question is how to load logo in media wiki safety changes 
and see it is in the description any uh, other person could come and can change the content very easily if I simply log out and then I search for the wiki tool page so this is my wiki tool page I'm going to go to the media wiki section go to the media wiki section now see I'm not logged in and I will go to the description the discussion discussion has been created I can edit the discussion and I can go and simply uh, write down my answer you know uh, the discussion would have an answer the other person could ask another question and that discussion could can continue uh, on and on and on and on and even that will be recorded the discussions that are taking place right so everything is recorded based on the discussions the teacher can look into the uh, area or that the people are facing the problem or asking questions on uh, the teacher can edit and view the content of what has been now um, uh, put forward by the students and uh, should it be issue, is it the correct content or not and several decisions could be made you can uh, introduce a table as well if you want to introduce a table in the subheading section you can simply go to the subheading section and uh, click on this whatever size you want I want two cross three sizes of table into the table these are the headers you can modify the header content you can write any name that you want column one here you want to uh, element one one it's fine you can do it see the changes that I've made a table has been inserted with these elements I hope by looking at the two videos you must have got an insight of how to set up your own wikis and uh, share it among your students thank you mm -hmm.